Hey guys, this is Swordfish. I know you probably can't wait to get to the court's guessing, so I'm just gonna go right there. Here we are, standing in the same place we were at the end of that episode, and I got a chest full of quartz. And I'm gonna show it to you now while I discuss the math, because if you can do the math that quickly or pause the video, good for you. You can know who won, but I'm gonna tell you. So, these were both stacks of 64. Last episode, I used this 18 quartz, or 18 blocks to repair the bookstore. Um, so there was an extra 18 blocks here, or an extra 18, yeah, an extra 18 blocks, which are 64 each. These are both, so these were both 64, so pretend there's an additional 8 stacks of ore here. All of those together makes a total of, well, wait first, wait, let's do some suspense. So, we had some really low guesses. B ran, guess 1, which is a little off. Kane83, the winner of my last guessing contest, forgot about fortune, guessed 209, which may have been the number of quartz blocks I had, I'm not sure. We also had some really high guesses, Pixel Riffs, guessed 2,840, Clandlewood guessed 2,400, good old Cole Mortimer guessed 2,200. However, there was one person who was closest to the total. Which is, drumroll please, 1,791 ore total. And who was that winner? Well, there were some close guesses. Logan Mango guessed 1,664, but he was not the closest. The closest was Doomful Silence. Doom. Hey, Doom. Thanks for playing. Thanks for guessing. I appreciate the participation. We need to have a little chat about your reward, or rather your prize, not your reward. Everyone should get a reward for participating, and that's a high five. So wait, let's let's um let's all look at ourselves. Let's stick our hand out. Stick your hand out. Oh, interesting. You can't. Oh, can I block? All right, stick your hand out, and then with your other hand, clap. That's a high five. Clapping is giving yourself a high five. So if in the meantime, since I'm not there to give you a high five, give yourself a high five for playing. Doom will give you a little more than a high five. We'll discuss ooh, We'll discuss uh, what that will be in the future. But um, that was fun. I like contests. I like guessing. I like math. That was like all my favorite things at once. Very nice. I didn't mention this in my last episode because I had recorded it a little bit ahead of time, but we have a new member on the server. Jefferson. Jefferson with some numbers at the end that I forgot to write down before I started this episode. And he has a base now. I actually haven't seen him go through this nether tunnel portal thing. He's just been in his base. But he's doing a cool... A cool little jungle... He's doing a jungle cave base. Kind of reminds me of B-Rans, except nicer. Because... It's just... It's nicer. Okay? It is. Here's a, a guard. I don't know what he's got where. He's got some... I, I mean, watching his episodes, he's got some cool farms. Here's some pumpkins. This is an automated wheat farm. You pull this lever and all the wheat washes into the, the thing. And then I guess you go replant it. It's cool. I don't think the pumpkins are automated. They might be. They might be, but... Yeah, that's nice. I like these pumpkin skylight things. There's a creepy man painting. I love the color of jungle grass. It's so, like... Just peep in your chests, Jefferson. Don't mind me. It's so vibrant and green and beautiful. I love it. It makes me wish I built in a jungle also. Um, there's some epic stairs. Another painting. Yeah. Some storage. So this is Jefferson's cave base right now. He's He's, um... He's only made three episodes, and he's got all this progress so far, which is pretty awesome. But you should all check him out. He's in my description now, and on a link on my channel, um, side friends member buddy thingy. So go check him out. He's been doing Minecraft videos for a while. I've been watching him for a while, and we just decided, hey, he hasn't been on a server in a little bit. Let's uh, get him over to DV, because we know he's great. So... Welcome, Jefferson. Thanks for coming. It's great to have you. 
because you're awesome. I was planning to show off some new inventory I got in the bookstore, but Clandall informed me that he made some large purchases. Yes, he did. 26 diamonds in my chest. Very nice. Oh, this one, however, is still here. There's a looting three now. In the, uh, the, ha-ha, die and give me all your stuff chest. There's a looting three. That's new. Chest got stuck open. Close, please. There is, oh, nothing. Oh, wow, yeah. I added some more efficiencies. He seems to purchase have purchased them. There was a fortune three, which is gone. So Clandall snapped up the fortune three immediately. Unbreaking, they're mostly gone, so he bought a bunch of those. Um, for 26 diamonds, thank you very much, Clandallwood, for your purchases. This bookstore is wonderful. I'm going to have to spend some more time enchanting stuff now to replenish the, the stock I was so excited about a minute ago. Oh, boy. However, my trek over to the lottery to put these in the ender chest has reminded me that um, Jefferson, when he made his first visit to the bookstore, wanted to purchase something, and I didn't have an ender chest with which to purchase it. So I need to make one. And in order to make one, I need an Eye of Ender, which I don't have. So in order to make an Eye of Ender, I think I'm going to head to the end and kill some Endermen, because why not? I haven't, like, I haven't done that. There might be a, <clears throat> a different way. I don't think there is. I'm not sure. Is it just... Where's the end port here? I think this is the end. Um... There might be a different way to do it. Like, craft them? I don't... But I'm not sure. So, I'm gonna just go smack some Enderman in the face. I forgot how this game works. I forgot how this game works. So, you don't craft an under eye by killing Enderman, you <laughs> stupid idiot. You use blaze powder and an Ender Pearl. So, I am journeying down to the Wither Walk. I don't think I've ever been here on camera. This is a, one of the oldest builds that's still active on the server. Um, it was made by Desi TM way back when as a place to farm wither skulls because there's withers here or wither wither skeletons can spawn here, um, but also like blazes and other scary nether stuff. But there's a blaze spawner around somewhere. All right, yeah, there is a blaze spawner, so I need to sit here and get some blaze powder in the meantime I'm oh wait <clears throat> there's a blaze come here come here blaze come here blaze because I need him to drop it in a place I can pick it up so I gotta wait for him to come so in the meantime maybe let's kill some weather skeletons which is actually a thing I've never done before you get shot you get shot once you get shot twice you get shot once, you get shot twice, nope, you get shot twice, and you died and dropped nothing but bones. Oh, and coal. Oh, I got a, I got a blaze rod, that was easy. And I got an achievement! I got an achievement! I actually, on Minecraft, Generic B is, oh, I got two, oh, I'm so good. On Minecraft, Generic B is doing a get all the achievements sort of challenge thing and I would like to do that myself because I um, I don't have so many of the achievements and for someone who plays this like has been doing been on the server for a little while I feel like I should so that is something I want to do in the future is get all the achievements and that one just unlocked a whole bunch I think that I couldn't do because I, I didn't have the blaze whatever, right? Let me look. Into fire, unlocked to the end. Adventuring time, which is super hard, and the end, and the beginning, and the wither thing, and the beacon, all of which I can do. Blue Brew a potion, I can do. Let me see here. Enchanter, I never made my own enchanting table. I could do that. The travel on a rail, I'm gonna have to build. Build a notch apple, I could do. Ride a pig off the cliff, I would love to do. Um, yeah, I can do, like, most of the achievements. So I'd like to do that soon. Maybe, like, next episode or the episode after. 
something soon because it would be fun. Okay, so got my blaze rods. I need blaze powder now. And then an ender pearl and a blaze powder. Let me make let me make a bunch of them just because it can't hurt, right? It can't hurt to have a bunch of of ender chests and or eyes of ender. Now the other thing I need is obsidian. Um which I don't have a lot of either. So I may have to go in a cave or something. There might be some around um, in a chest or in the thrift store or something, but I, I think I want to go get my own obsidian. So maybe I'll head down into my strip mine. I'm sure there's lava down there. I could get it. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Oh. Here's my pick. Okay. Gotta get my adventuring supplies back. And then I will do that. And that will be a slow, tedious, lots of mining process. Going down the stairs where I hit my head, hit my head. Going down the stairs and I'm hitting my head a lot of times. Here's some obsidian. Oh, that was easy. All right, cool. Oh, and I have an efficiency five pick, which actually makes it not that bad. That's fantastic. So I'm just gonna do a little... Oh... I'm just going to lay down a little lava here while I do that. A little, a little water while I do this. Um, and not stand in the obsidian. Also, the water should catch it. Yeah, the water should catch it. That'll be good. I'll be nice and safe. And um, also generate more. And I'll have enough to make all my ender chests soon enough. Oh, okay. Well, the water ran out. Okay, well that was sufficient, and now I'm walking in circles, trying to figure out how to get back to... Ah, here we go. <clears throat> the entrance. Let me make those ender chests. Very nice. Alright, I, I, I can now... I should get... Oh, cool. I made enough to get one to make one more. So, I really should put them in more than one place. I... I Need one in the bookstore. I also should put one in the tackle shop. And then anything else I build, I'm going to need them too. So, or any, any other store at least. Because my next build won't be a store. Sort of. It's sort of a store. It's, um, it's a gallery. And you can maybe convince me to do stuff for money at the gallery. But it's not a store per se. It's, it'll be nice regardless. Alright, let me head back to spawn. And put this chest where it belongs. Alright, let's see what I can do about an ender chest here. I think, if I remember correctly... Oh my god. That was the fastest... Holy crap, alright. <laughs> that was insane. I believe an ender chest needs to have space above it to open. Yeah. Silk touch? Yeah, so it can't put it there. Oh, a raptor. Hello. Unless I make this a slab that this um hmm I could do that. Maybe maybe that would work. Let me go grab a slab. Okay, let's see. If I break this one, it's going to knock that sign down, which is fine, but I can put the slab there and the ender chest here and now it opens. And now hopefully this sign will cover cover the gap. This is Misk Enchantments. Well, it doesn't look great. You can see the payment chest through it. But functionally, it's important, so I'm going to deal with it. So here's your ender chest for all of you who need ender chests to buy your things, which is most of you, even though there's an ender chest conveniently across the street at Ovi's Lottery. I know sometimes you're lazy, and I don't want to put a barrier between you and your shopping experience at Swordfish's Books and Books. So, I've been ender pearling everywhere just for fun lately, and it's been fun, and I've been enjoying it. So, I also would like to put one in the bookstore. I know that I had a purchase, a little bit of lapis in my life. Um, I don't know. Eh, stick it in the corner. Whatever. That's fine. Number one tackle shop in town. Local hero opens bait and tackle. I love this store. By the way, I was discussing my stock of the bookstore. I also have some um, more of these guidebooks. Lore 3 
and luck of the C3 in case you don't want a combo rod and you want to get treasure or luck or um, fish one or the other you can get uh, just one with an enchantment so buy them there has been an addition to the top of the real estate office that kind of looks like a guy with crazy hair uh, DV real estate this is for rooms in the Carlisle and then also for rooms in Kane Towers Mayor Kane 83 of Royal Kennington Spa. So if you're interested, you could come here for those things, I suppose. I don't really need a home right now, an additional second vacation home, but I'm working on it. Maybe one day. There's some trees out there. What I'm really here for is Wombo's Greenhouse. Maybe. So for Sword and Fish, the... um. Hey, the door's open. Wait, the door's missing. Wombo's garden. The bottom is Wombo's garden, the top is Wombo's greenhouse? That's... Okay, Wombo. You crazy... Wombo. Oh, no. Oh, no. Di oh, no. Oh, and this has access to... Logan. I think a disaster might have happened. By a zombie. He came from over there. He broke the door down and he killed Wombo. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I need some things. I need some things not for decorating, but for dye. Because I am going to be building some little glass sculptures made out of many colors of um of things. And I need the die. Is there a crafting table in here anywhere, even as a decoration? Anybody? Does anyone use crafting tables in their designs? I found one in the floor of the Boats to Trevor. <laughs> Alright, so, I need a bunch of different glasses. I need red. I'm gonna need way more inventory space is the first thing I'm gonna need. Okay, I need yellow. Blue. It's blue. I need light blue, which is dye. This is the light blue dye. Now I can make my light blue glass. Ooh, I need white glass, I got that already. Orange glass, which is red plus yellow. Brown, that's what I need to buy. That's cocoa. Lime is cactus and bone meal. Purple, which is red and blue. Pink, which is red and white. Magenta is pink and purple. And that was most of the things I needed. However, I do still need brown. I do still need brown. I just barely have enough glass. Um, I guess I can throw out these ender pearls because I don't need ender pearls very badly. That's fine. So, hey, Clandlewood, I left a whole bunch of crap on your boat to Trevor. That's fine, right? I hope you don't mind. What is this? Area zone for all purpose use. Apparently this is all purpose use, this one little slab. Okay, back to the shop. As it turns out, I don't need nearly as much as I thought I did. Sorry if I got ex got you excited, shop owner. But, um... Maybe I'll buy some extra just to be nice, just because I got him excited. Like, oh, someone's gonna buy some flowers and stuff at my store. The last thing I need for my build is gonna require a bit of an adventure. And every adventure starts at the blaze rod. I know B-Ran is gonna love that. But it's true. It's true. I, I don't want to go anywhere without one iron bar per bottle. Where do I pay? Pay. I don't like to go anywhere. Bogo? Strength 2? Jump boost? Sure! Those are bogos. One Buy one, get one free. Alright, that's one. Oh no, that's one. Uh, and water breathing. Ooh, water breathing. What do I need water breathing for? Well... I've been building a lot, so I'm making, as I've said, I'm making um, a sculpture, like, art gallery. And if you've ever been to an art gallery in real life, it's very white. They're really, really white. So I've been, I've, I've made it with a lot of quartz, which is why I went quartz farming. And, um, where's the faraway portal? So... I went quartz, um, quartz farming, 
And now I was trying to do lighting and the lighting Ocean Temple first left. Mm, Ocean Temple, that's where I'm going to the Ocean Temple. Did I miss a left turn? Did I just run past it? I'm going to walk back and see. Um the the um prismarine or I forget what it's called. The nice blue glowing blocks, they're like glowstone but prettier. Ocean Temple first left. There was not a left. There was a right. There was not a left turn. All right, we'll go to the end and see. The um anyway, the prismarine goes really nicely with quartz. It's like a nice blue like a nice cyan blue that goes really well with the white. And maybe they meant right? Like crazy people? Let me go here and see what's down here. So instead of using glowstone for my lighting, I decided that I want to use prismarine, which means that I need to head out to the ocean temple and get myself some prismarine. Look at the battle going on here. This is amazing. The crazy fish are killing all the squid. The laser fish. That is so cool. So you guys are probably thinking, um, if you've watched this, I'm not going to edit it and change what I said, because it's embarrassing, you, but uh, when I was saying Prismarine, what I really meant was Sea Lantern, and that isn't how you craft, isn't crafted by these. Maybe it's crafted by the crystals, which are much rarer drops, um, which means I'm going to have to stay here a whole lot longer than I thought, because I haven't gotten... I haven't even gotten four yet to try to craft a thing. I'm trying to make these white lantern-y thingies. My worst fear has been realized. It takes five crystals and four shards to craft them. To craft one of them. And I need a bunch. So I may resort to taking them. And we may need to set up a farm for, for them renewing in the future. Because that is going to take me forever. And they're just sitting here. So, maybe I'll, I'll modify my build a little bit to not need quite as many. Um, yeah, I'm going to change my build up a little bit to not need quite as many of them. Just so that I don't have to do this forever. Actually, but I'm going to leave one here. I'm going to leave some... So that there's lighting, at least, in, the, like, a bunch of different places. Or maybe I'll, like, take one from, like, each corner to make sure the areas are at least a little bit lit up. Maybe I'll do that. I just don't want to be a jerk. And, like, take all, have a monopoly on the sea lantern. Because that just isn't nice. Well, that was that turned out to be in a much tougher battle than I expected. Seriously, those little laser fish dudes pack a serious punch. And also the prism, the um, the prismarine crystals that you need to craft the sea lantern are a pretty rare drop. I killed probably fifty of them, maybe more, with a fortune with a looting three sword, and I only got eleven. So, um. I'm gonna so I'm gonna have a little bit of change of plan here. Cause I don't want to take all the sea lantern for everybody. So I only took a few instead of a bunch. I'm gonna modify my build a little bit. Um to not need as many. And um But I got enough. I got a f I got s enough to to do what I wanted at least. To do my interior lighting. So hopefully that'll be that'll that'll take care of it regardless. And I don't have to go back there cuz oof, that was rough. Those guys are really tough. That was the first time I've ever been to one of those sea temples, whatever they're called, ocean monuments. I also need to change this sign to say okay. So between the quartz over there and all these stained glasses and these sea lanterns and this birch. I've got my build supplies ready. In the next episode, I'm going to head over to Trevor, right over yonder, and get going. I'm going to leave you with this beautiful shot of all the things that you're going to see in the next episode.
Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.